Whistler is better known as a winter skiing destination, but there's lots to do here in the warmer months as well. So I'm gonna spend the next 48 hours finding out how much I can fit in. Before arriving, I was having trouble imagining what Whistler would look like without the snow, but it's incredible how green and lush everything is here. To get a sense of how large and how beautiful these mountains are, I'm gonna go and get a bird's eye view. Hopefully there'll be a chance to land somewhere as well. How cool is this helicopter? Just look at those views. We've managed to land on Rainbow Mountain. With all the different ridges to walk up and the rocks to climb over, you get different views everywhere. They're all incredible. The best way to learn about any wilderness is with an expert local guide. What are your favorite spots up here on the mountains? I really love couple of the ridges that you can get on up towards the summits. You can also get uh, a shuttle with the helicopter with your mountain bike and uh, shred the trails and the descents. Okay, I'm not brave enough to do any of the downhill mountain biking trails, but this gentle trail to Lost Lake just out of the village is absolutely beautiful. It doesn't get any better than this. One of the places you can cycle to is here, Lost Lake. It's not far from Whistler Village, and once you get here, you can go for a swim, or you can even do some fishing. The lake is full of trout. Speaking of trout, local ingredients are key to some of Whistler's fantastic cuisine. A great example is the Barefoot Bistro, a pretty unique place to eat. Wow, Melissa, this looks amazing. What is this? Well, I'll give it a try. Thanks. It's a chilled watercress soup, some BC spot prawns, mm. everything local. Mmm. Yeah, that's really good. But what I really like about this place is the 20,000 bottle cellar and the minus 29 degree vodka tasting room. I've always got time for vodka. When I think Canada, I think bears, and I am not going to leave until I find one. Kathy, what kind of bears are up here? How many uh, are there? We're just looking for what's called the American black bear. That's mm -hmm. the species that lives here. And there's about 30 to 50 between Whistler and Blackhole Mountains. It isn't long before we run into an old male they call slumber. I can't believe how close you can get to them, just out in the wild too. Now for the big adrenaline finish, zip lining across the treetops. So this is the first line of the Eagle Tour. Yeah. So as you're going along, you're gonna be going nearly 70 kilometers per hour. Awesome, what a ride. Oh, in fact, the last two days in Whistler have been such a thrill. And I reckon I've only just touched the tip of the iceberg, or in this case, the mountains.